I don't know about you, but I feel like the world's a little bit too bleak these days and we could all use a dash of color. So I went around Tokyo looking for food with vibrant colors and this is what I found. My name is Michelle, you're watching Tokyo Pass 3 and this is Tokyo's most colorful food, at least according to me. Our first stop is, as you may have guessed, the epicenter of bottled up emotions exploding into vivid colors, Harajuku. The shop Reshaina is all about Instagrammable food, and among their best sellers is the rainbow grilled cheese. There isn't anything groundbreaking about the taste of the sandwich, but the colors do add an element of excitement. Also, listen to that crunch right there. Uh-huh, yep, that's grilled cheese done right. There are many other shops that sell rainbow colored food in Takeshita Dori, but honestly, this is all the Harajuku I can take in one day. I'm an old lady, sometimes even an old man. <laughs> Up next on the list is something blue. I'm talking about Kipposhi's Blue Ramen. Contrary to the unusual color, this dish is actually mild in taste. The broth base is chicken and the noodles are soft and chewy. It's the kind of soup you'd want to drink on a rainy day or when you're feeling under the weather as it is warm and comforting. Kipposhi doesn't disclose what gives their ramen this color, but one thing's for sure, you won't be having the blues when you dine in and order one. Moving on to something that's both sweet and savory, new New York bagels in Azabujuban is a treat for the eyes and the taste buds. On weekends, they sell rainbow bagels, and on weekdays, they have what they call unicorn, which is what you're seeing right now. There are many fillings to choose from, but for me, nothing beats bagels and cream cheese, so I just ordered one with sprinkles on it. The next one is probably not as colorful, but if you're in the area, you might as well drop by Dumbo Donuts. These beautifully glazed treats are big and fill you up rather quick. Don't say I didn't warn you. The shop also serves coffee in bright pink containers, making the food you eat as aesthetically pleasing as it is satisfying. On to more colorful desserts. Cupcakes are not very common in Japan, but thanks to Lola's, they're getting more love. Hailing from London, this colorful shop sells cupcakes in regular and mini sizes, all crafted with lovely design and delightful flavors. And finally, this list wouldn't be complete without Japanese shaved ice or kakigori because, come on, just look at that beauty. Honestly, any kakigori specialty shop would probably make this list, but Sakanoue Cafe in Yushima is my latest discovery, and I ate this strawberry shortcake flavored kakigori after swimming class, which really hit the spot. And that, my friends, is a lot of sugar intake for one week, but I have been doing Chloe Tang's workouts, okay? So I think they balance each other out. At least I hope so. That's how I rationalize. <laughs> if you want to find more information about the restaurants mentioned, you can do so on tokyopass3.com, which I am very proud to say has a new layout now because I've been working hard, y'all. <laughs> if you want to show some love or support, you can do so by liking or sharing this video so that the algorithm gods may shine their light upon me, blessed be the fruit. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can also do so. You will find more content like this on the YouTube channel or the Facebook page. This has been Michelle of Tokyo Pass 3. I'm a little bit too hyper in this video, maybe because of all the sugar, but I'll see you again next time. Bye. That's it.